Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to an automation tutorial on using the newest alpha update, which is the turbocharger 4.2 revamp for automation, the car company tycoon game. Now in this video, I'll show you guys how to get into the new update, but I'll also tell you guys what the new update entails. So obviously with the turbo update, it includes totally revamped turbos and how turbochargers work. It's still very, very, very buggy but it's playable at the very least. It also adds things like different wheel sizes, front and rear, different intakes, and a completely overhauled photo mode that looks absolutely stunning. But fair warning guys, if you guys want to use the newest version of the game, there might be performance issues in the game, uh, as well as other things like bugs and stuff, etc. One other thing to note though is your current cars will not work with the new update, so if you really cherish that nice supercar you made back in the day, well, it's not going to work in the newest version. You can, I'm pretty sure, import the cars to the newest version, and if the body's still fine, everything will still work perfectly fine, but since there's no mods for the newest version, your fixtures will all completely disappear, so I probably wouldn't recommend it, um, but you totally can revert back to the previous version, and that should have your cars there, but don't quote me on that. So, how to update to the alpha version of the game. So you got to open up Steam here, and I've got my Steam here open on the top left. I've got 1,924 hours. I know, I play this game probably too much, but that's okay. So go ahead and right-click on Automation, the car company tycoon game. Go to Properties. From there, it'll open up a new window. Then you're going to go down to the Betas tab. And from there, it'll say select the beta you would like to opt into. And we're going to choose the one called Open Beta Dash LCV 4.2 opt in alpha. So this is actually an alpha build of the game. So we'll go to alpha here and we'll exit out of this box, top left or top right. Then we're going to go update in the game itself. And now that's going to take a while. So I'm going to fast forward the updating of the game. It's about a four gigabyte update. All right, guys. So it looks like the update is done. So now all you have to do is click play. And then you'll get a pop up right here. And then after that, you are totally fine to play the game. Again, if you want to go back to the previous version of automation, you totally can. It's a lot more stable, and I'd probably recommend it for most people. The turbos are buggy as heck, but it's fun. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer. Or if you want a more in-depth response, or want to ask a more in-depth question, join my Discord, link in the description, and ask the community there, or you can privately DM me, and I'll do my best to reply. Thank you guys so much for watching. More automation content's coming, so stay tuned. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time.